Rantipantis videos whenever. Hey guys, a long time no chat. Um, so exciting news today. I read an article about um, a new piece of art in my city, which happens to be the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. And there is a mural that is coming to be in the city uh, based off Little Nas X and particularly the characters he plays in the Montero music video. Um, and I'm really excited to see this. Um, you know, I think he's an incredible artist and to have someone like that living their truth and putting it fully out there and being comfortable and willing to accept the criticism and to be able to just be your own self, like what he is creating and what he's doing and his fashion choices and his video, it's just, I don't know, is it, I guess it's like to the level of like Madonna in the 80s, just like really pushing boundaries and making people think and opening the world up to a different point of view and personally i thought his music video was amazing i mean the artistry the graphics the costumes i mean spectacular and you know really everything that's going on within it it just says a lot it shows a lot there's a lot of directions you can go with it and you know, I think it's amazing that in the city of Brotherly Love, which is the home to the most murals anywhere, I believe, in the world within a city, there are thousands all over the place, that they are placing one dedicated completely to him, and it's going to be smack dab in the neighborhood, and it's just amazing to kind of have that recognition and that acknowledgement that you are an important member of the community and we love you and we appreciate what you do and we stand in awe and want to be there alongside you and celebrate your contributions to the world so i'm really excited to see it let's go and take a look at it it looks really cool in pictures there's like lots of blues and purples and crystals it's on the side of a building and uh yeah let's take a look at it all right guys let's continue pow hey guys so i'm here downtown in midtown village also known as the neighborhood um to show you this amazing mural um, it is on the side of the Riders Block Rehab, a very cool, like, literary-themed bar. So, let's go take a look at it. So, here's the Riders Block Rehab. And what's cool is there is, there's information on the piece itself and how to support, and the artist's information, and... Here is the mural based on Montero. Amazing. It's really uncanny. It just looks so much like him. It's so good. Smack dab in the city. So here it is from this point of view. I mean, it looks awesome. So amazing to have this representation, to have this in the neighborhood, to have this in Midtown Village, to represent such an amazing artist who is just, you know, revolutionizing and really pushing boundaries, which for 2021 is really saying something. And the fact that he's just living his truth and living himself and doing it unabashedly. I mean, it is, a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous mural. And how awesome that it's in the city of brotherly love where we're known for our murals and have just this amazing art scene. So yeah, there's the little Nas X mural. So cool. Beautiful. I like how it has the colors and the crystal.
Hey guys, it's me again. So I wanted to provide some more information on the mural. So the mural artist is Ash Ryan. She is a Philadelphia muralist. Um, what's cool about the mural, so it was requested by the Gaberhood and it was placed on the wall of an amazing bar and restaurant in the city. It's called the Writer's Block Rehab. It's like a literary themed bar um, that is located in the Gaberhood, although it's now kind of known as Midtown Village, although it'll always be the Gaberhood. So the mural, it is 36 feet long. It is huge and it is incredibly tall too. Um, and it was all done through donations. They set up a GoFundMe for it. I'm gonna include the links to everything below and uh, various people played a part as far as videography and it's just really an impressive and such an uncanny resemblance to Little Nas X and just, you know, the fact that he opens the doors and is unabashedly himself and welcomes his part and everyone in the LGBTQA community, it is, you know, amazing. So Philadelphia Gaberhood is the perfect place to have a mural like that. Um, and the artist herself, she's absolutely amazing. If you look at her work, it's like, she definitely has like a signature style. You know, she likes the blues, she likes the purples, um, she likes the pinks, and she's an incredible portrait. To think like you made that portrait that looks so much like him using spray paint, like this is amazing graffiti art. Um, so I think it's amazing that this has been added to the city of murals and um, I think people are gonna love it. It's a very photographable location and yeah, what an awesome addition to the city. So hell yes. All right guys, we'll talk later. Bye.